Yo, what is up guys? Hey, so recently I've gotten a lot of comments um, regarding like strats and whatnot. So I thought I would start like a, a quick short series covering each map individually on extremely basic strats, okay? Um, and first off, we're just going to start covering Warsong Gold Student, like a super fan favorite easy game, right? So first off, you want your comp to at least be able to flex um, and have a tank. What I mean by flex is, let's say you have a Demon Hunter that plays the DPS spec or whatever, right? You don't want him to only play DPS, you want to make sure that he can also tank just as much and whatnot. Um, so make sure you have one of those or maybe even a Boomkin um, that can swap over to Guardian. Both of those are very viable options in the current meta right now um preferred definitely have a rogue um because if you have like a demon hunter that's like just running across the map like free right with no rogue to stop them then it kind of makes the game a little bit more difficult um because if you're able to slow down the demon hunter it progresses or it slows down the game um you might get a cap and then uh win the game on time just things like that. So rogue is typically extremely beneficial, especially just for the kidneys. Um, so make sure your rogue is just literally just saying kidney, man, and make sure you're paying attention to uh, your BGE and your uh, diminishing returns so that kidneys aren't dr and whatnot. Um, as for the rest of the team, man, I personally like to run two disc priests and an R shaman. But an Age Paladin is extremely, extremely, extremely good, and I wish I knew one. Um, because having an Age Paladin on defense that can bubble, sack, or bop, or hodge, like having a Paladin on defense is really, really best. Even if it's a Ret, right? Even if you have a Ret on D, that's extremely good. Um, most of the time, the type of classes that I would like to see on D, which meaning defense, right is a uh, shadow priest so that they can life swap they can grip um a warlock so you can have gate um so that the demon hunter can leap away and the healers can also gate away as well type of thing so they can keep up um red of course the age pound is super super strong um a wind walker is super strong because they can ring people off and teleport around and whatnot um and maybe like one druid right if you have like two druids then definitely have one on d because you can just cyclone um a death knight's super good for the slows for when you're kiting those type of classes are super beneficial for when you're having on defense um on offense uh literally the rest of your comp right typically i only have two healers and two dps and our tank so five on d while the other five go oh now listen man this isn't like a foolproof strat. Um, like sometimes it doesn't work. So make sure you're communicating with your team. Like, okay, why did you guys not get the kill on O? Oh, we need more DPS. Well, if you guys can't allow it, then send a, send the ret or something like that on O. Um, it's all about adapting. Because if, like if you guys watch my videos, sometimes you'll notice that the enemy, or like my defense, or no, 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 let's say like a midfield or something and like the IO team gets a kill. I'm like, okay, what is the difference? Like what, like not to be rude, but like what, what changed, right? Well, the Druid double root beam, Cyclone, the healers, you know, something like that. So make sure you're communicating with your team during the game and you're adapting your strats um, with your entire team. Um, something a lot of people may not understand is actually what offense and defense is. Um, a lot of fights actually start off with like a team fight in mid. Um, Demon Hunter goes and grabs, maybe the rogue sitting on D, um, so maybe have a healer with your Demon Hunter. Kind of depends on what the enemy team's doing. Might need to do the same. Um, but once the teams have the flag and team fight is kind of dispersing, right? There's no like real large team fight in mid. Um, definitely that's like, okay, O team start going and like have an O healer go, maybe like a priest with Dark Angel, um, depending on what your healer comp is looking like. Um, defense, stuff like that. Maybe get a few kills in mid on the way onto O so that your defense has an easier time. Um, if you full wipe them, 
maybe sending two healers on O is super beneficial and only having one healer on D and one DPS in the tank, super good. As a tank and you're just sitting here, man, like you shouldn't just be sitting here on top of the roof just waiting for people to show up in your line. You should be spamming through your BGE, um, figuring out where people are, communicating with your healers. Hey, I have these cooldowns. Um, if they come here, I'm gonna start kiting. Um, Preemptively, start communicating those things with your healers and your team as a whole. Um, it can get pretty hectic, so sometimes it's hard to recognize people's voices. So just make sure you're communicating. Hey, I'm the demoner. I have these cooldowns, yada, yada, yada. As the rogue, when you're sprinting up for offense, be like, hey guys, let me go in first. Let me get a sap off, maybe uh, a cheap shot on the off target, and then a kidney bomb. Um, so you can force the trinket and then stop stunning like don't don't keep stunning once you bomb because i mean you're just going to keep DRing. um if they if they end up trinketing and they blow all these cooldowns wait for a dr to fall off get your kidney back up right chief shot a healer and then duel the demon hunter if a lot of the dps are looking at you while you're on offense duel shadowly duel healer or if you're out of damage shadowly duel healer like if you don't know what to do, just shadowy duel, man. I'm telling you, it'll save your life, especially if you shadowy duel healer. Um, but I hope this helps you guys understand Warsong Gulch a little bit better, because I understand a lot of you guys are a bit newer to RBGs, especially this season with the influx of players. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps um, for all of you guys. If you guys have any questions, please just comment and let me know. Um, I'm not gonna cover Twin Peaks, because it's very similar. I'm just going to cover maps that I feel like people need to understand a little bit better. And maybe some of you guys question like, hey, what do I do on this map in this certain situation? Just let me know, man. Um, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And you guys have a wonderful good night. Peace.